This is the uh, Hobby Caravan, 2006 we think it is. And we're having an ingress of water through the back window, or the front window, above the uh, gas locker. Or it's uh, somehow coming through uh, the hinge there, which we've tried to fix. But uh, come inside and I'll show you the, uh, the problem with the wood, because we've got a, a mould issue. Inside you can uh, clearly see the problem. It seems to be coming through each corner of this upright, which is there. And we've tried to seal it across there, but we've still got an issue of uh, the mould. And once the water gets in here, it seems to be destroying the wood. So let's see if we can fix it. Once you get an ingress of water um, and takes over the wood, it turns the wood into um, like a mushy Weetabix. And you can see here that uh, there's not much, not much wood left at all. So uh, let's see if we can do something with this problem. I'm not sure how to get this uh, corner out, but uh, we have a few screw holes here and here. And it goes along the top and down here, so not quite sure how it comes out, but I'm sure we'll have a go. I'll start by taking these uh, plastic things out. Oh, and what do you know, it's got one of those hexagonal torque screw things. Fortunately, I've got a tool to get that out. So let's have a look inside the uh, the gas locker, see if we can see anything of use. You see across here it looks like uh, we've got some rusty screws. I tried to take those out before and, and they're biting into nothing so uh, I think there's definitely an issue there but let's have a look up here and see if we can uh, take this side corner panel out. Now we've got some Phillips screwdrivers here. Let's get those out. Oh dear, there's nothing coming out there. That's out. These seem to be uh, pretty useless as well. This is the uh, screws holding the handle on, so let's get the pliers on that. Get those out. Oh, that was easy. I'm like pulling teeth. <laughs> this side seems to be better. Although I may have spoken too soon. There's not much grip on there, so... At least it's better than the other side. So one side is definitely worse than the other. Oh dear. Those look equally as bad. It's completely gone. I think it's time for some uh, new screws and some new wood. So it's now time to take the hinge out. Uh, but I think we have to take the lid off first. And I've discovered that here, if we take this final screw out, there's um, a little a holding thing here. I'll take the screw out completely. The idea is to pull this little thing out here, which is a uh, holding the lid on. And there's the uh, the restraining device. So we should be able to slide the lid out that way with a bit of luck. We've taken the end bit off. Let's see if we can slide it. That's coming well. Never so well so far. And, and now we've got to get all these out. Oh, that's not coming. No, that's just going round and round. These screws are holding the the top shelf in at the back, so it's that's not holding anything. Oh, that was holding something. I think I think the uh, actual cover was held on by one screw so far. Well, the last thing to be holding the shelf in seems to be this bracket, which has got glue on it. So 
try to take the glue off. That seems to be quite strong. Oh, that seems to be uh, clear now, so hopefully we'll be able to take the shelf out this time. I think we might have to take these side brackets off here because they seem to be holding the top panel in and holding the side panel in place which is holding the shelf in position so let's try and get that out these are quite easy to get off you just prise the corners off and then take out the screws which is <laughs> easier said than done So now we could take the uh, shelf off and get at the uh, screws that hold in the top on. Here we go. How good is that? Well, this is the end of the shelf. It doesn't seem to be... There's nothing kind of holding that in, apart from this thing here. So this is a bit of plastic, which comes up here. So that's out. We just have to get this, get this out somehow. I don't know how, but there you go. This is the stuff that's turning into mush. So here's the screw that um, was stuck, and just shows how bad the ingress of water has been, and. Um, damaged all the wood and screws. Well we finally got the side panels out um, because the, um, the piece of wood there seems to be an integral part of the van. It's very difficult to get at these screws so uh, this is this is what it was like. It's all mushy. You can see, even see the water coming out. That was just mush. That's not good. And same goes for this other one here. That's uh, no good at all. So we're going to use these now as a template and make some new side panels uh, once we get the shelf out. So the shelf to come out is the next job. Well, we're trying to take the shelf out here and we found an extra screw. So it's under there. And can we see that? Okay, so it's time for the shelf to come out. Um, we've managed to lift it off the bottom bit, and but we can't lift it completely up because that's in the way, and we can't bring it forwards because that bit's in the way so I'm gonna to have to chop it down here on both ends and then take it out in theory That's incredible. These screws are just kind of completely disintegrated. They were holding nothing together. There you go. This is the uh, shelf we've taken out of the van, and all we have to do is uh, reproduce it. So here we are gluing the uh, panels together. This is the uh, the old one, and we've um, reproduced it here with the, with the correct angles, and um, we've made it out of 
boards and glued them together. We're just tightening them up here. And um, the theory is it matches exactly what we've taken out, so it should go in exactly as it, uh, as it should be. Um, because the boards are so thin, and this one's particularly thick here, uh, I've got another another set of boards to glue on this top side to make it the same thickness as that. So, in theory, it'll be identical to the one we've taken out. Here's the labour intensive bit now. We've got to cut an edge down here of the boards to make a nice front so we can glue this on. That'll make a nice edge to it. But I've tried using this saw, which uh, the teeth seem to be a little too fine. So now I'm resorting to this one, which has a much better action. It's very sharp, I've just cut myself. It's an unusual saw because when you're pulling backwards, that's when it's doing the cutting. This could take a while. The last thing to do is make some side panels for the shelf. There's the side panels. So I've just got a piece of that uh, kind of chipboard stuff outside and um, copy the template and finish the corners off and um, pop them in. So let, let's have a look at the end result. And here's the final shelf. Looks good. I've put in some new side panels up here, complete with the original edging. I've put a chrome pole across to hold the curtain and I've also put a new edging to the shelf which just finishes it off and it all looks rather good. So that's what you need to do if you want to replace your shelf on the Hobby 2004 Caravan. Thanks for watching.